So GameStop uh, reportedly has stopped looking for a buyer. Now this news kind of saddens me because I was really hoping that they went ahead and Amazon would kind of step in. I remember so there was like an article about Amazon working with GameStop so they can uh, trade it and stuff like that, whatever. But turns out no, um, they just stopped looking for a buyer and they just want to try to stick it out or whatever happens happens and let the chips fl- uh, lay where they may. And how I look at this situation is basically when um, I'm going to try using that. When an animal goes extinct and it was a regulator of another animal so to keep the populace down, now that animal's extinct so the prey's populace is up, we're just all convoluted and then that has its own chain of consequences and events. Yeah, so I kind of look at it like that because yes, it's cool to hate on GameStop, so like that, the jokes, you know, get fired off for a brand new system, ah ha ha. But you know, at the end of the day, it's really a place for the gamers, you know. And I was trying to tell people this online earlier, but a lot of people just really don't care or just don't really see the the, the chain of events that's probably going to follow have, is going to follow through. And it's, it's kind of nuts because, like, if GameStop goes down, then who are we going to go to a dedicated gamer source? What do you think about that? Maybe I'm ignorant and I haven't explored the world enough. But I'm talking about, like, a real brand gaming store. And not, I know what people are going to say first. Well... We got our mom and pop stores, and that's true. But in my experience, and I can only talk about my experiences, where a lot of times the mom and pop stores, you know, they either don't have really up to date games, and they, they get games where they just get it, like, get what they can, or they're just janky and shady. You know, it, it's kind of crazy because a um, mom and pop store will try to fuck you before, you know, a big retailer. That's just my experiences. You know, they'll sell it for higher or. You know, just some janky shit. And I really think that's unfortunate. That's why I really don't fuck with mom and pop stores. And, and another reason why I, I kind of really want GameStop to stay is because, you know, they have a reward system. Now, now I'm not sure a lot of people use it, but it's really handy. Came in um, good times for me when I really need it. Get, uh, buy enough stuff, you get a coupon or whatever. Yada, yada, yada. And we end. Since block, since I was late to the party with Best Buy and they already shut that down, we really don't have, we really don't see that much of uh, that anywhere. And like I said, I may be ignorant, so I don't know. Let me know in the comments below. But another thing is, I really say, say that, say this, where you know, GameStop is a dedicated game store. Okay, you know, and people talking about, well, you know, you can order from Amazon, you can order from, you can go to Walmart, Target, whatever, and that's true, you can. But the thing is. They're not dedicated. So that means when you go to the store and to go pick up that game, you got to compete with people that's going to electronics. Sometimes they got groceries, you know. And, you know, sometimes a lot of people, they're just working uh, not specific games area. They Sometimes they don't even know what the hell they're selling you or talking about. They just, you know, so you really can't ask them for knowledge. So, you know, if you're a girlfriend or you're a mom buying you, uh, your, your uh, person a present, they ain't gonna, they ain't gonna not really care or don't know what the hell they're talking about. That's that's a good chance, cause you know they probably everything looks the same probably. So that's another thing, and another thing is, a lot of people gotta see the other side of losing a game specific retailer. Um, there's like the midnight launches, you know. Um, as far as I know, Walmart, Target, they don't really, they really do midnight launches. You know, you just gotta get in there. The next day and race into there and hope you can secure your copy just like um amazon you know if you want to wait that's fine but it kind of you know and i don't know i'm gonna break this point next time but it's like yeah you know if you really want it you can go to digital but me personally i'm not going to speak me personally uh, personally that i really don't get games unless they're on sale through um like a nice sale that's the only time i get did game digitally otherwise I like to have my game in physical format. The reason why is because one, I just like it just increased the effects of my place, you know, game shelf stuff like that. Um, can be the game cover looking nice, you know, and also it's physical, so you can let your friend borrow it. Um, if you're into that stuff, you can even rip it or uh, make backup copies. If you're into that, I'm not into that. And also, um, when you're digital and per se, if you don't have no internet um, or and it's all something like that to that nature. You can't get into your game without internet, and I'm and I'm not sh- that's for sure for PSN. 
I really can't speak on uh, the other game consoles because I haven't been that far yet. But yeah, even if you like don't even have like not even hooked up to the internet, um, it would just be locked. So it re you'd be really asked out if, you, if all your games are digital. That means you got to have internet on 24 seven, which sucks. You know, there's gonna be times where you don't have it. Maybe for a split second or whatnot, because the, the, it's a license, you know, it's a license to have the content. But, um, yeah, so that's the reason, reason why I really like uh, having my games physical and midnight launches, you know. And like I was going back to the pre-orders, you know, I don't really know. Every game, everything is different through pre-orders. So, like me, for my Jumpstars collection, I only had to put down $10. I love that, you know. And I'm, pre I'm not sure if Walmart, Target... And I, and I know Amazon, they, they don't have you pay up front automatically, but um, I kind of like that, you know, just put like a small, something small down and you have your pre-order secured, you know, and like I said, maybe I'm ignorant, so I don't know, but so I really like that. And, you know, you really got to think about stuff like that because what if the other game stores start, you know, making you try to make you pay up front or full, you know, and I will get to this later in the video, but I really feel like most of the some of some of the certain game publishers slash uh devs they purposely don't put their stuff out on the other retailers anymore um they probably just send it out third uh directly from their website because you know it's probably easier from you know cut them cut out the middleman shit like that so that's how i really feel so sometimes you know you gotta be you know it's it's easier to get your Collected edition right then and there from GameStop, if, I, if that makes sense. Because, you know, like I said, Walmart, Target, just be a race there. You know, I'm not sure if they have a pre-order system, stuff like that. Now, what I can say is, you know, I really, I, what they probably can do to like help burn, uh, lighten their load on their burden is that, you know, kind of cut down on some of the extra stuff. I'm like, yeah, don't get me wrong, I like buying a pack of cards. See, what I think they try to do is like, they try, they try to make it geek central or nerd central there. And there's kind of nothing wrong with that, but you should cut down on that. Like, a lot of shit, every time I go in there, it should be on clearance because, you know, not really people going for that stuff. Like, nobody going for a hat or, you know, a whole shirt, looking for a whole wardrobe. Like, yeah, you can have like one or two in there, but don't have a whole catalog in there. Um, Funko Pops galore in there. It's just a lot, you know, you just keep it on game, stuff like that. I'm pretty sure it would sell, you know, the, the collectibles, the figures, something like that. you can really just kind of cut that down. You know, it would be very helpful you, to your, uh, to have more stuff back there. Cause like the re the retro program, I was just kind of really feeling, but that's not, the retro is so, I won't say so limited, you know, especially for me, I like retro, you know, I have no problem buying a PS3 game or PS2 stuff like that. So just make room for games. They probably need to change their business model a little bit more too, because I, yeah, I do think it's kind of funny how, you know, a pre-owned game that just uh, that just released uh, a couple days ago, they got a pre-owned version of it already, so they'll just ch sell it to you for like um, f fifty-five dollars, tax that on that's a sixty, so that's a whole sixty in their pocket, and yeah, this should really you know change your business model. You know that might help. You know, but it's a lot of stuff that's going to happen with this. Uh, hopefully, somebody coming through save the day like that. You know, GameStop, you know, every time I go into GameStop personally, it's a nice feel. Like, I, I can uh, name a couple of times where I went to GameStop midnight launches and I have, you know, very memorable. Like, um, I went to the midnight launch for uh, Pokemon Sun and Moon. That was pretty nice. You know, guys was uh, handing out uh, Pokemon Go uh, lanyards for the. Uh, you know, probably had back stock of that too. So just say here, you can have this nice lanyard. Um, what else? Which one did I go to? Uh, Spider-Man. You know, I didn't have enough money. Actually, I didn't pre-order my uh, Spider-Man Collect Edition. So the guy that actually sold me mine, he said, you know, if we really want to take a chance, you know, you got we can just come in and take a last minute. Because uh, what happens is when they get the Collect Edition stuff like that, they always get overstocked. Like at least one just in case you know and i got that one so thanks to that information that really helped me a lot and i was really happy to walk around my spider-man collector's edition you know i can even name a time where pokemon or that was fun you know there's a lot of people with their ds3 uh, 3ds is out 
You know, it was very, um, a very, cause, you know, it's a very sociable interaction. I won't say like a, to the point like an anime expo or anything like that, but it's like, you know, it's very interactable and it, it's very, a very nice atmosphere. And I would hate to see that go. Cause you know, they're just as passionate as their job as you, as you are a customer. Now I know what people are going to say, well, you know, them pushing shit on us, like acting as they want to pre-order this every five minutes and look, that's your job, you know. Sometimes you gotta do shit you, you don't wanna do. Like, I highly doubt they wanna sit up there and make you buy some shit you really don't wanna buy. Cause that just, cause think about it, that just get annoying trying to force a sale this down somebody's throat every time they call, you know. So, I don't know. I really hope, that's just really my thoughts. Um, it's just really the gaming ecosystem. We need to uh, keep our dedicated shit. It'd be, if they really go under, it'd be sad since uh, Blockbuster went down. Um, Cause like I said, pre uh, personally, I'm not ready to go digital. I, uh, me, I'm, I need, I need my physical. Um, but yeah, other than that, I think that's it. I don't think I, I need to cover anything else. Hopefully, um, they can stay afloat so we can all keep our gaming culture intact. You know, whether it's good or bad, you know, they're part of us. You know, because you know. Some of them that work there, they are us. So, um, yeah, just let me know what you think in the comments below. Any memories you guys of GameStop? Any uh, thoughts you might want to talk about? Any points you want to bring up? I'm ready to have a discussion in the comments below. But other than that, I bid you adieu. Thank you. Have a good day. Goodbye.